Here's what's coming up. Being a new lifter feels like getting thrown into the deep end and you don't even know how to swim. If you're new to the gym, it's normal to feel confused. You have these goals, you wanna get an aesthetic physique, but you get overwhelmed with all the information. What workouts should I do? How many reps should I be doing? What diet should I be eating? So you feel like giving up the gym. This is too much work. I'm just gonna stay how I am. I was in that position for years, guys. I was able to break out of that cycle and finally get in shape. In this video, I'm gonna teach you the basics on how to get an aesthetic physique based on my experience. If you follow the plan in this video and you're consistent, you're gonna get that lean athletic physique. And let me tell you guys, life on the other side of getting fit is a lot better. You teach yourself that anything's possible. If you're ready to take that step, let me help you get started. The first step to getting an aesthetic physique, you need to find your maintenance calories. Go on Google, type in maintenance calories calculator, plug in your stats, and it'll give you a rough estimate of what your maintenance calories are. Right now, we just need a ballpark number to start with. Garu's physique, he has a muscular, lean physique. For you, we need to make a decision. Are you gonna bulk? Are you gonna cut? Or are you gonna do a recomp? If you're gonna bulk, take your maintenance calories and add 200 to it. We wanna keep the bulk lean so you don't pack on too much fat. If you're overweight, take your maintenance calories, cut 200 from it. We don't wanna cut too drastically or else you're gonna lose even more muscle. And if you're skinny fat, you can either go into a lean bulk or you can do a recomp, just eat at your maintenance. If you wanna put on muscle, your number one priority should be hitting your protein intake. The range to build muscle is between 0.8 to one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Stay within this range and you should be able to put on muscle. Protein sources I eat, chicken, eggs, cottage cheese, pork chops, salmon, protein powder, for carbs, I eat tortillas, bananas, brown rice, oatmeal, mostly whole foods. I don't eat a lot of simple carbs. And for fats, avocados, olive oil, cheese, that covers diet. For supplements, I take protein powder. You don't need protein powder, but this is good if you struggle to hit your protein intake. I also take creatine. Creatine gives your muscles more energy in the gym. I've been able to lift a lot more weight since I've been taking creatine. You don't need to pick a specific diet, guys. Just adjust it to your lifestyle. As long as you're hitting your protein intake, you're eating pretty balanced diet, and you're taking your creatine, that's all you need. I'm not a dietitian, but if you're a normal guy like me, you should be good. Now let's talk about how to train in order to build muscle. There's a common misconception that you need to lift heavy in order to build muscle. I used to think that as well. Muscle building takes place between the five to 30 rep range. So if you're new to the gym and you can't lift that much weight, you can actually still build muscle. You just have to increase your reps. The general range to build muscle is between 12 to 20 sets on each muscle group per week. If you're a beginner, start on the lower end. Once you get experienced, you're gonna wanna up your volume. The second misconception that beginners have, they think they need to change their routine. It's like your routine has an expiration date. That's not the case. You're not gonna shock your body by doing bench press the first week, then incline the next week, then decline the third week. What really shocks your body is performing progressive overload. Eventually your body is gonna get used to the amount of stress you're putting on it. In order to force muscle growth, you need to change one of these variables. You can change the reps of your movement, the total weight of your movement, or you can change the sets of your movement. Say I'm doing bench press, I'm doing 135, four sets for eight reps. If I wanted to build muscle, I can increase the reps. So I'll do four sets for 10 reps at 135. The second option, I can just add another set and keep the reps the same. Five sets for eight reps at 135. Or I increase the weight and lower the reps. 145, four sets for six reps. My general rule, I usually up the reps first. And once I'm able to hit that, then I'll up the weight. When you go inside a gym, you're gonna see 80 different machines. The good news is that if you wanna build muscle, you really don't need that many machines. The main machines you wanna focus on are the compound movements. This is gonna be your bench press, your squats, your deadlifts, your pull-ups, your rows, your dips, your overhead press. There's that 80-20 principle. 80% 80 of the results come from 20% of the output. 80% of my results have come from just the compound movements. Compound movements have two advantages. 
this compared to accessories. One, you're able to load more weight. A lot of these are barbell movements. You could stack three plates on your squat, two plates on your bench, and all of that weight is gonna require your body to change. Advantage number two, compound movements hit more than one muscle group at a time. When you're doing bench press, you're hitting your chest, but your shoulders are also getting hit. Since you get so much bang for your buck, you don't have to do as many exercises. Definitely focus on compound movements. Accessories are like the sidekick to your compound movements. They fill in the weaknesses. For example, targeting your rear delts is hard with compound movements. You're gonna need to do face pulls in order to build that up. For rest times, I do one minute in between sets. But if you need more time, just keep it between one to two minutes. So for warm-ups, I usually do two warm-up sets and then two working sets. This is good, especially if you're a beginner. You don't want to put too much volume in the beginning. So for push day, first exercise is incline bench press. This is great for your upper chest. Building up your upper chest just makes it pop more. We'll do this four sets, six day reps. Next exercise is shoulder press. We'll do this four sets, six day reps. Next exercise is dips. Dips are great for building up your triceps and they also target your lower chest. We're gonna do this four sets, six day reps. And if you can't do dips, head over to the dip machine to target our middle shoulder, the biggest side of your shoulder. We're gonna do lateral raises, four sets, eight to 12 reps. To hit our triceps, we're gonna do overhead tricep extensions. Doing this variation allows for a full range of motion and I just feel my triceps more. We're gonna do four sets, eight to 12 reps. And to finish off, we're gonna do chest flies, four sets, eight to 12 reps. For our pull day, the best exercise for building your back is pull-ups. I started getting a V-taper when I was able to start repping out pull-ups. So if you want a V-taper, try this out. Four sets, six to eight reps. If you can't do pull-ups, just head to the pull-up machine. Next is barbell rows. Barbell rows are great for building the thickness in your back. We're gonna do this four sets, six to eight reps. If you have back problems, you can do dumbbell rows instead. Garu has really big traps. The best exercise for growing your traps is shoulder shrugs. We'll do this four sets, eight to 12 reps. Garu has really broad shoulders. What creates that 3D look is building up your rear delts. The best exercise for targeting rear delts is face pulls. We're gonna do this four sets, eight to 12 reps. To target our biceps, I go for bicep curls, four sets, eight to 12 reps. Last exercise for our pull day is gonna be hammer curls. This targets the long head of your bicep. We're gonna do this four sets, eight to 12 reps. Last day is our legs. Let's not skip this, guys. We're gonna do squats. Squats target your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes. We're gonna do this four sets, six to eight reps. Next exercise is deadlifts. You can either do sumo or traditional. I personally do sumo. We're gonna do this four sets, six to eight reps. Next exercise, Bulgarian split squats. This targets your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes. We're gonna do this four sets, six to eight reps. Next exercise is Romanian deadlifts. We're gonna do this four sets, eight to 12 reps. Next is reverse lunges. We're gonna do this four sets, eight to 12 reps. And the last exercise is calf raises. I go four sets, 10 to 20 reps. For abs and cardio, skip to this section. To start our upper workout, we're gonna start with incline bench press. This is great for your upper chest. Building up your upper chest just makes it pop more. We'll do this four sets, six day reps. To build up our back is pull-ups. I started getting a V-taper when I was able to start repping out pull-ups. So if you want a V-taper, try this out. Four sets, six to eight reps. If you can't do pull-ups, just head to the pull-up machine. To target our shoulders, we're gonna hit dumbbell shoulder press, four sets, six to eight reps. To hit our triceps, we're gonna do overhead triceps extensions. Doing this variation allows for a full range of motion and I just feel my triceps more. We're gonna do four sets, eight to 12 reps. Next exercise is chest flies, four sets, eight to 12 reps. Garu has really big traps. The best exercise for growing your traps is shoulder shrugs. We'll do this four sets, eight to 12 reps. Garu has really broad shoulders. What creates that 3D look is building up your rear delts. The best exercise for targeting rear delts is face pulls. We're gonna do this four sets, eight to 12 reps. To target our biceps, I go for bicep curls, four sets, eight to 12 reps.
We're gonna start with squats. Squats target your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes. We're gonna do this four sets, six to eight reps. Next movement is the deadlift. You can either do sumo or traditional. I personally do sumo. We're gonna do this four sets, six to eight reps. Next exercise, Bulgarian split squats. We're gonna do this four sets, six to eight reps. Next exercise is Romanian deadlifts. We're gonna do this four sets, eight to 12 reps. Next is reverse lunges four sets, eight to 12 reps. And for our last movement, we're gonna do calf raises, four sets, 10 to 20 reps. For our second upper day, we're gonna start with incline bench press, four sets, six to eight reps. To build up the thickness in our back, we're gonna hit bent over rows, four sets, six to eight reps. If you have back problems, you can do dumbbell rows. To hit our triceps, we're gonna do dips, four sets, six to eight reps. And if you can't do dips, head over to the dip machine. To target our middle shoulder, the biggest side of your shoulder, we're gonna do lateral raises, four sets, eight to 12 reps. To target our triceps, we're gonna do overhead tricep extensions, four sets, eight to 12 reps. Next is shoulder shrugs, four sets, eight to 12 reps. And to grow our rear delts, cable pulls, four sets, eight to 12 reps. Last exercise, hammer curls. This targets the long head of your bicep. We're gonna do this four sets, eight to 12 reps. Last day, we're gonna start with squats again, four sets, six to eight reps. Deadlifts, four sets, six to eight reps. Bulgarian split squats, four sets, six to eight reps. Reverse lunges, four sets, eight to 12 reps. Romanian deadlift, four sets, eight to 12 reps. And calf raises, four sets, 10 to 20 reps. For abs and cardio, skip to this section. For our full body routine, we're gonna start with squats. Squats target your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes. We're gonna do this four sets, six to eight reps. Next movement to grow our chest is an incline bench press. Building up your upper chest just makes it pop more. We'll do this four sets, six to eight reps. Next, to build up the thickness in our back, we're gonna hit bent over rows, four sets, six to eight reps. If you have back problems, you can do dumbbell rows instead. To target our middle shoulder, the biggest side of your shoulder, we're gonna do lateral raises, four sets, eight to 12 reps. Garu has really broad shoulders. What creates that 3D look is building up your rear delts. The best exercise for targeting rear delts is face pulls. We're gonna do this four sets, eight to 12 reps. To hit our triceps, we're gonna do overhead tricep extensions. Doing this variation allows for a full range of motion and I just feel my triceps more. We're gonna do four sets, eight to 12 reps. Garu has really big traps. The best exercise for growing your traps is shoulder shrugs. We'll do this four sets, eight to 12 reps. And the last exercise is calf raises. I go four sets, 10 to 20 reps. Second day, we're gonna start with deadlifts. You can either do sumo or traditional. I personally do sumo. We're gonna do this four sets, six day reps. To build up our back is pull-ups. I started getting a V-taper when I was able to start repping out pull-ups. So if you want a V-taper, try this out. Four sets, six to eight reps. If you can't do pull-ups, just head to the pull-up machine. Next exercise targets our triceps and our chest dips. We're gonna do this four sets, six to eight reps. If you can't do dips, just head to the dip machine. Next exercise, Bulgarian split squats. We're gonna do this four sets, eight to 12 reps. To target our biceps, I go for bicep curls, four sets, eight to 12 reps. Next is chest flies, four sets, eight to 12 reps. To hit our traps again, we're gonna do shoulder shrugs, four sets, eight to 12 reps. And we're gonna finish off with hammer curls, which targets the long head of your bicep. This is four sets, eight to 12 reps. Last day, we're gonna start with squats, four sets, six to eight reps. Next is incline bench press, four sets, six to eight reps. To build the thickness in our back, we're gonna do barbell rows, four sets, six to eight reps. Next is lateral raises, four sets, eight to 12 reps. For our rear delts, we're gonna do face pulls, four sets, eight to 12 reps. To hit our triceps again, overhead tricep extension, four sets, eight to 12 reps. Next is shoulder shrugs, four sets, eight to 12 reps. And to finish off, we're gonna do calf raises, four sets, 10 to 20 reps. Abs I'll perform on my rest day. I start with leg lifts, four sets, 10 to 15 reps. If you can't do leg lifts, start with knee ups and work your way up. Second exercise is Russian twist. This works your obliques. We're gonna do this four sets, 10 to 15 reps. We're gonna finish off with the ab roller, four sets, 10 to 20 reps. If you don't have an ab roller, just do planks for 30 seconds. For cardio, I usually do at least an hour of cardio every day. Even if you're bulking, you wanna stay relatively lean. 
So make sure to incorporate cardio as well, guys. I really recommend finding cardio that you enjoy. If you hate the treadmill, don't do the treadmill. If you made it this far, congratulations. You have all the knowledge you need to get an aesthetic physique. As a free gift, I've taken the main points of this video, including the exercises, and I put it into a free guide. Anytime you get lost in your fitness journey, refer to this guide. You can get this guide for free in the description. Thank you guys again. If this video has helped, make sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.